Okay, so what we have here is my Raspberry Pi device. Uh, it's basically a small microcomputer. Uh, runs on uh, ARM architecture. It's got uh, Raspbian Linux installed on it, which is basically just a Ubuntu derivative scaled down. Uh, plugged into the uh, to the Raspberry Pi, I have uh, HDMI out over here. Uh, I've got my analog audio going to uh, some speakers right over here. Uh, I've got a USB 2.0 hub with a Bluetooth keyboard plugged into it. Uh, and then also uh, my Creative Labs uh, webcam and microphone. And this is just so I can get some, some type of audio input into the device. Uh, basically the project that I'm working on right now is uh, some voice recognition. I want to be able to uh, instruct commands on the operating system using my voice. Uh, so I found a project uh, called Voice Command and I believe it was written by Steven Hickson or something like that. Um, <clears throat> if you get a chance, check out his blog. Uh, let me look it up real quick. It's uh, stevehickson.blogspot.com. Uh, some, some great stuff on there for the Raspberry Pi. A lot of uh, uh, tools, automation. Uh, things that he's been working on for quite some time. Really brilliant stuff. If you get a chance, check it out. So let me show you a little bit more about the, uh, the voice command tool, basically what it can do, uh, what I'm doing with it so far. I'm not going to get into detail about the, uh, the custom configuration and you know everything else that you can do with it. Instead, I'll probably write a blog and just um, you guys can follow it on there. Uh, so let me show you a little bit about it once. Okay, so in order to uh, utilize voice input, you have to run the voice command application. Uh, and this is basically listening for a keyword every uh, three seconds. So uh, my keyword is Marcus. Yes, sir. Who is the President of the United States? Now, I, I believe it's going to resolve this uh, view. Obama via Google. Marcus. Yes, sir. What is three plus three? Six. All right, so you can ask it like basic questions and stuff like that uh, as long as it can interpret what you're saying. Um, using Google's API, then it'll be able to answer the question. You can also uh, have it launch applications and stuff for you, which I've already um, you know, pre-programmed a couple of uh, uh, custom uh, commands. Marcus. Yes, sir. YouTube. So you just officially got Rick rolled. But it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I think there's uh, an unlimited uh, amount of uh, uses for this for this application for, of course, using the Raspberry Pi with all the uh, projects that are out there currently for the, the device. Um, I will write something on my blog in a little bit more detail on how I got this configured, some of the hurdles I ran into with, with audio, uh, both input and output, um, and uh, you know just document all that on my, on my website. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Anyway, peace.